exoplanets find new ways to surprise us. Let's look at the interactive diagram. It highlights exoplanets in sound and light, starting chronologically from the first confirmed detection in 1992. The entire night sky is first shown compressed with the central band of our Milky Way galaxy making a giant U. Over the years, the number of points on the map has been growing, albeit very slowly. In 2000, scientists confirmed the existence of only 35 exoplanets. But now, there are more than 4,000. Astronomers made a breakthrough following NASA's launch of the Kepler and TESS space telescopes in 2009. They look for extrasolar worlds by the transit method, which records the change in a star's brightness when the planet passes in front of it. Among the transit worlds, there are very strange and mysterious ones. Do you want to know more about them? I'll tell you about a teenage planet and a chameleon planet, but we'll start with an amazing world that survived being side by side with a Death Star. WD 1856b from the Draco constellation has outgrown its star by far. Of course, stars are usually disproportionately larger compared to planets. For example, the Sun's radius is over a hundred times larger than that of Earth. For the exoplanet WD 1856b, which is 80 light years from Earth, quite the opposite is true. It's seven times larger than its white dwarf star. Imagine a volleyball orbiting a tennis ball. That's what this space couple would look like. In 2020, an international team of astronomers announced the discovery of the planet using the TESS and Spitzer space telescopes. It orbits the white dwarf WD 1856 plus 534 which lies in the outer orbit of a trinary star system with two red dwarfs. A cold white dwarf emits almost no light, making it difficult to detect celestial bodies nearby. In 2020, transit analysis showed that WD1856 plus 534 has a gas giant. It's roughly the size of Jupiter and is 14 times heavier. The giant moves literally side by side with its miniature host star. The distance between the star and the planet is about 3 million kilometers. Not surprisingly, WD 1856b orbits the dwarf in just a day and a half, which is 60 times faster than Mercury orbits the Sun. About 10 billion years ago, it was a hot yellow dwarf like the Sun. Over billions of years of its evolution, the star has lost a significant part of its thermonuclear fuel. Then it grew thousands of times larger and turned into a colder red giant. As it grew, it had to swallow the nearby planets of its system. For another billion years, the outer layers of the giant evaporated into space. As a result, the star lost up to 80% of its mass. The remaining hot core is the white dwarf. Scientists believe that WD 1856b was formed at least 50 times farther from its current location and was out of reach of its oversized star. But then how did WD 1856b end up so close to its star. There are several hypotheses that can explain it. The most likely scenario proposes the existence of several Jupiter-sized gas giants near WD 1856b. Their gravitational forces could have destabilized the planetary system and pushed WD 1856b towards the star. 
Proponents of the second theory suggest that the fault is in the stars. As was mentioned before, there are two more red dwarfs apart from the white dwarf in this system. Perhaps their combined gravitational force changed the planet's orbit over time, pushing it toward its star. Perhaps a rogue star is at fault? Such space wanderers are not gravitationally bound to any galaxy and wander through alien worlds. If such an intruder destabilized the WD1856 system, the planet could have changed its orbit and ended up pushed close to a white dwarf. White dwarfs are dangerous because of the strong gravitational pull of super-dense nuclei. The sheer gravity of such a Death Star could rip apart celestial bodies nearby. What helped WD1856b avoid such a terrible death? Astronomers hope to find out after collecting and analyzing new data. The recently launched James Webb Telescope may reveal more about GJ1132b from the Vela constellation. The exoplanet managed to survive near the young hot star GJ1132. Just like a chameleon, the planet had to change its appearance to survive. What's more, this unique transformer resembles five celestial bodies of the solar system at once. GJ1132b lies 40 light years away from Earth. Early on, it resembled Neptune. Its diameter was several times bigger than that of the Earth back then, which means that it could be considered a sub-Neptune in terms of size. The gas planet was surrounded by a thick atmosphere rich in hydrogen and helium. Due to the intense radiation of a young star, it lost its atmosphere a few billion years down the road. The red dwarf has managed to strip its planet down to its bare core. Gradually, it became a super-Earth with 1.66 of Earth masses and a radius exceeding that of our planet by only 13%. In many respects, Earth and the exoplanet are quite similar. They both have the same density and are about 4.5 billion years old. Early on, they both had a hydrogen-rich atmosphere. They were hot before they cooled down. Astronomers go as far as to believe that GJ1132b and Earth have the same atmospheric pressure, but they are reluctant to call the exoplanet the Earth's twin. First of all, these worlds have been formed in a completely different way. Earth is not considered the surviving core of a sub-Neptune. In addition, our planet orbits its star at a comfortable distance, and the hot GJ1132b is very close to its red dwarf. Its orbiting period is only one and a half days. The exoplanet could have died from the heat of its hot star. Its dense atmosphere was what saved it. However, where did it get its new garments from? Scientists suggest that GJ1132b hid part of the hydrogen of the primary atmosphere in the hot mantle and magma. The gas is now being slowly released during volcanic activity, forming a new shell. This is the first time that scientists have discovered a planet with a supposedly secondary atmosphere. In addition, GJ1132b's surface is favorable for volcanic eruptions. It has no mountains apart from a hilly desert. Astronomers believe that the gravitational pull of some other planet in the system has split this desert into many small parts, 
making the exoplanet's surface closely resemble a cracked eggshell. It seems that gases constantly leak through these cracks and replenish the atmosphere. Almost the same thing happens on Jupiter's satellite Io, where volcanoes continuously erupt. This is due to the gravitational tug of war between Jupiter and its neighboring satellites. In terms of atmospheric composition, GJ1132b is also similar to another satellite of the solar system. It presumably contains hydrogen and methane, as well as an aerosol haze from hydrocarbons, similar to smog on Earth. This ghostly world is wrapped up in a thick smog. The foggy view of the planet can be compared to Saturn's satellite Titan. Scientists have already managed to look behind the smoky veil of this world, which is colder than GJ1132b. In 2005, NASA's Cassini spacecraft delivered a probe to this satellite, and it transmitted the real images of Titan. You can see them right now. Astronomers hope to venture new space missions in the future to peer through the fog of distant GJ1132b. Scientists have to figure out many more mysteries of new worlds. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you liked this video.